In 2002, Western moviegoers were treated to a very unusual prospect. To go to the movies and see an actually good horror movie. It was called The Ring, a remake of a Japanese movie called Ringu, as most of you may know. A couple of years later, Juon was remade into The Grudge, and again, Western moviegoers and horror fanatics were thrilled at this new wonderful thing that they saw. They'd never seen anything quite like it. But here in Japan, that was a different story. You see, the whole image that everybody saw with those movies was something that was very, very old and traditional here in Japan. Western moviegoers didn't really know what it was that they were looking at. What they were looking at was called a yurei. I mentioned the yurei in one of my other videos about haunted Hiroshima. This is an attempt to give you an introduction as to what a yurei is, what the rules are, and what you can do about it. Now, according to Japanese lore, when the spirit leaves the body upon death, normally they're supposed to go to a place that literally translated from Japanese means over there. However, if a death is particularly emotional, tragic, violent even, then that spirit can be hooked in that last emotional state here on this world in the form of a yure. Now the image of the yure, however, was popularized by Maruyama Okyo, a painter who lived around 1750. And in that year was the year that something profound happened to him. See, Okyo was a member of the realist school, who, as they say, show me an angel and I'll paint you one. One night, Moriyama woke up and looked above him and saw an image of his recently deceased wife hovering over him, wearing her pure white burial kimono, her skin unusually pale, like ivory, eyes a little bit sunken, hair jet black and disheveled, looking down over him smiling, and then just faded away. Moriyama spent the next few weeks, months even, painting and repainting that image, which is now a very famous and iconic image you can find here in Japan. And it became the quintessential image of a yure. Now, we saw them in The Ring and Juwan, The Grudge, but here in Japan for centuries, it's been the image of the ghostly yure in kabuki and no theater, as well as plays and movies, for a very, very long time. Yure are special spirits that have their own personality, their own reason for being, and their own set of rules. A Yure is the epitome of an unfinished business type spirit. It has something that it still needs to do, a purpose to be fulfilled, and then once it's fulfilled, it can be placated and actually move over there. Now, most of the time, these uh, yurei are very benign. Some of the kaidan, or ghost stories here in Japan, involve yurei that only want to say thank you, or to say I love you to a loved one. There's stories of a handmaiden who was very enamored with her mistress, and her yurei haunted a home, all the way up to the point where it entered the mistress's bedroom and finally got to say, I appreciate and then vanished. Others was a yure of a mother who took her newly born child after delivering and failing to live through the childbirth process, delivered their still living child to her husband, gave them both a kiss and then vanished. But sometimes the yure die under tragic circumstances with hate on their mind. And if the last thought is that, they become an onyo, or a vengeful spirit. The real key to everything is the final thought. 
that last moment before death happens. In life, we have Yurde in us. We have the spirit power that is extremely powerful, extremely potent, almost divine-like. But the body acts as something of a restrictor plate, keeping it all in check. When the body's no longer there, that force becomes purified, and that last emotion upon death becomes a purified, powerful form of that emotion to be respected and to be feared. So much so that fear of the yurei has made its way into many other parts of Japanese culture. One example of this is in the martial art of Iai. There's a technique taught that involves somebody about to commit seppuku. The technique is for the second, the person whose job it is to cut off the head of the attendee. They do this for a number of reasons. First of all, because of the painful process, it saves the attendee the shame of crying out in pain. But there's another reason. Security. Not every participant of seppuku was willing. In case of an event like that, there's a special part of this technique to make sure that, that last thought upon death doesn't reverberate back upon the second. Morimoto Sensei has been gracious enough to demonstrate this technique. We'll see what I mean. Now what's most important to understand about that technique and to notice was that foot stomp right before the cut happened. The point of that stomp is to distract the attendee, to get them to go, oh, what was that? Or, hey, nothing happened, and then lights out. That final thought going from fear and hate and anger to, huh, what was that, is supposed to be enough to prevent a death curse and a vengeful spirit haunting the person who was acting as second. All right, so you've packed your bags and moved to Japan. You look around for a place to live and you found an exceptional deal on a really nice house or apartment with a price almost too good to be true. So you take it, move in, and as it turns out, there's a yurei there. It happens. There's there's crooked landlords here just like there are everywhere else. So the real question then becomes, what do you do about it? Well, since the yurei are the epitome of the unfinished business spirit, what you do, simply put, is figure out what it is that it wants and give it to them. Once they have it, they're usually placated and they move on to the other place or over there. Now, if you can't figure out what it wants, or what it wants is actually harmful because it's a vengeful spirit, then go to your local temples, ask around, and try to find what's called an omnioji. The omnioji is the Japanese version of an exorcist slash mystic, and hopefully they can help you figure out what to do about the yurei that you're experiencing. This will take some research because they're pretty rare. However, with effort, you can find it. Plus, dealing with a yurei problem is worth the amount of energy that it will take to do so. If you need more help with it, you can always contact a paranormal investigator or even myself. Find me on Facebook, shoot me a message here, and we'll look into it. I'll be more than happy to help anybody out with any kind of problems that they are experiencing in this regard. So, that is an introduction to the yurei. Below in the description box, there's some more resources for you to check out. Let me know what you think, and let me know what's happening in your dark corner of the woods. As always, grim out, happy hunting.